Question number nine, Dr Cam Calder. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister for Tertiary Education, Schools and Employment, what has New Zealand's income from international education been for the past 12 months? Hon. Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I am pleased to advise the House that total international tuition revenues have increased to $745.7 million in 2012, which is an increase of 2 per cent on 2011 to the highest level of revenue recorded since 2004. This includes an increase in university revenues of 6 per cent, up from $292.7 million in 2011 to $308.9 million in 2012. Supplementary question, Dr Cam Calder. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What has been the impact of the Canterbury earthquakes on international student numbers? Hon. Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, unfortunately the consequences of the Christchurch earthquake are continuing to impact the international education industry, with a 31 per cent fall in the Canterbury region enrolments in 2012. This contributed to an overall decline nationally in international student enrolments by 6 per cent. The numbers would have been just 3 per cent if you exclude the impact of Canterbury, and that would compare with Australia, where they've had a one-year decline of 7 per cent in numbers. It's pleasing to see that the number of students coming here from China, who make up 27 per cent of New Zealand's international students, has increased. There has, however, been a drop in Indian students of 8 per cent, while Australia has suffered a dramatic reduction in Indian students of 25 per cent. Supplementary question, Dr Cam Calder. Supplementary to the Minister. What is the government doing to encourage more international students to study here? Hon. Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, the government has identified developing the international education industry as an important part of our business growth agenda and the target of increasing exports from 30 per cent of GDP in 2012 to 40 per cent by 2025. Uh, you should look at the numbers for today. We're developing new education opportunities with our ASEAN partners and looking to expand on existing programs, like, for example, 400 additional accounting students coming here from Malaysia as part of an agreement signed last year. We're targeting an increase of 20 per cent in the key Chinese and Indian markets. And we're opening up new markets in South America, with the Prime Minister in Chile this month witnessed the announcement of more than doubling the number of Chilean students coming here under the Penguins Without Borders program. Question number 10, right honourable, or supplementary question, point of order, honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I seek leave of the House to table the doc figures on the future number of staff in Takaka, which is 16.3 and not the one claimed by the member for West Coast Tasman. No. Leave, leave is sought to table those staff numbers for the Takaka office. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Order. I've called the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr Speaker, this question is to the Minister of Trade and asks, does he believe that a...